Welcome back to another video and the PS5 Pro could be coming out as early as 2023. Let's talk about it. Before we do, smash the like button, hit the subscribe, click the bell icon. If you want to see more news videos and consider, consider supporting us by clicking join, becoming a member. So this article comes courtesy of GameSpot. That's, um, and basically TCL, the electronics manufacturer, seems to think that we're going to see the ps5 pro as early as 2023 2024 and this is in a, this is still in the middle of like the stock shortage that we're seeing right now so i don't know how likely this is but if tcl thinks it is then there's a good chance it might be because you know tcl probably has some contacts in the manufacturing industry and they'll probably know if sony are ramping up towards a ps ps5 pro um so electronics company TCL attended a conference in Poland and in a presentation said that it expects a PS5 Pro and a new Xbox Series X slash S to arrive sometime between 2023 and 2024. So when you think about it, the um, the PS5 came out at the end of 2020, right? 2020. Um, and if we're to believe that this, genera this generation's lifespan is going to be about eight years, give or take, it makes sense, right? I mean... Eight, nine years to see an upgrade halfway, you know, halfway through in 2024. I think that it could be likely. I don't think it's going to be a game changing update, but hey, a new upgrade to PS5. Pretty cool, right? Um, so, yeah, according to Policy Outlook, TCL's presentation showed the timeline of consoles starting with PS4 and Xbox One in 2013. Then the release of the PS4 Pro and Xbox One X a few years later. So they did upgrade the PS4 and the Xbox One um just a couple of years after the after the first one was launched um so if going by that you know if you look at that and we you know think about the ps5 it's likely but with the stock shortages and stuff the chip shortage the part shortage the the whole shipping dilemma thing you know stuff you know shipping containers being stuck in docks and stuff like that is it likely you know it's going to follow the same timeline of the last generation i don't know but hey I'm, my fingers are crossed because I love new consoles. I'll give us something, give us something to get excited about. Um, the presentation also marks the launch of the ninth, gener ninth generation of consoles with the PS5 and Xbox Series X in 2020. At the end of the slide, it lists the PS5 Pro and new Xbox Series X and S. PLC claims that these consoles will provide 60 to 120 FPS resolution at 4 4K, as well as have the ability to display 8K. But apparently, will also be they'll also utilize AMD Radeon RX 7700X in technology. Um, so there's the pictures that it was talking about there. Um, so yeah, so we've got the Xbox One, PS4, um, which came out in 2013. And then four years later in 2017, Xbox One to uh, Xbox One S and X and PS4 Pro came out in 2017, four years later, like I said. Um, then three years later, we got the Series X and the PS5. Um, so yeah, when you, when, you, when you look at it like that, three years, like four years between Xbox One and Xbox One SX, or P four years between PS4 and PS4 Pro, then three years between the PS4 Pro and the PS5, it, one would assume, right, that you're going to see a PS5 Pro three to four years after that. But with the shortages and with COVID and everything like that, you know, that might have changed things. I'm not sure. But it would be nice. I'm telling you, it would be nice to have a new console that supports 60 at the minimum. At the minimum. Forget your 30 FPS. 60 at a minimum because for me frame rate is far more important than graphic fidelity right like i would rather play a game with less you know less graphics um lower graphic settings but at a higher frame rate because i know i just can't play games with 30 man it just doesn't feel right to me but um yeah pretty exciting pretty exciting and i'm looking forward to seeing if that comes true and when you think about it we've only got a couple of years to see right i mean if it's if the gap is only three years we might see a new console next year and at the very latest we might see it in 2024 which is fine um at a push they might just do you think they'll skip the ps5 pro i'm not sure but yeah there we go um tcl thinks new new consoles come in as soon as next year maybe 2024 um i guess we'll just have to wait and see um 
let me know in the comments what you think are you itching to get a new ps5 um the situation is potentially just a guess from pcl as a pattern for mid-generation refreshes seem to happen every three or four years after the base consoles launch the biggest argument against the existence of existence of upgraded consoles is the rampant supply issues and the chip shortages that are plaguing the current stock of ps5 and xboxes manufacturers are still having trouble meeting the demand for launch consoles which can make mid-cycle refreshes both difficult and unneeded at this stage I think I wouldn't be surprised if we see some signs that we're going to see a new a new console upgrade soon. Like if they start dialing down production, well, maybe that might be a hint that they're working on a, an upgraded version. I mean, I'm sure Sony and PlayStation have their own timeline, you know, behind closed doors of when they're going to release an upgrade. I think they might probably stick to it because it can't be that hard switching your your supply or your your manufacture your focus on manu manufacturing from. You know one console to the next console they'll just have to dial down the ps5 and then wrap up production for the ps5 pro um i don't think the the shortages are like stopping them from making a ps5 pro i think if anything they're just gonna have to slow down the slow down on making the ps5s and focus on the, the upgrade but exciting though exciting 4k at a minimum of 60 and then maybe ultra hd 8k at 60 to the 120 output too so that's pretty cool so yeah thank you for watching this video let me know are you excited for a new ps5 pro what do you think it might look like um i've got a little concept here that you might want to look at would you buy a ps5 pro if it looked like that if, it, if they basically just like melted the edges down do you think that'd be kind of cool let me know down below. Anyways, have a great day. I love you. It's Blaze2K okay, signing off. Please like, subscribe, click the bell icon for news on the new upgraded PS5 Pro. Let's go.